Welcome Wasteland Wanderers. Are you ready to experience the Commonwealth like never before? Look no further because we have the must-have mod for April 2023 that will change the game for you. Get ready to explore the Wasteland in a whole new way. The first mod I will introduce to you is Type 11, Light Machine Gun. The Type 11 Light Machine Gun is a gas-operated, air-cooled weapon that uses 308 rounds. Despite the limitations of Fallout 4, which cannot implement the function of bouncing clips in 5-shot increments, the creators have implemented Type 11 excellently. This mod supports a reload animation for Type 11, and uses a different type of animation from conventional rifles when aiming. The mod offers a lot of customization options for this weapon, including different receivers, barrels, stocks, sights, muzzles, magazines, and foregrip. You can also choose which type of ammo you want from six types of ammo, and you can also modify the damage ratio. The weapon has a nice model and texture quality, and sounds very satisfying to shoot. The animations are also well done, especially the side aim feature that lets you tilt the weapon sideways for better visibility. The Type 11 Light Machine Gun is a great addition to Fallout 4's arsenal of machine guns, and it's a nice tribute to a historical weapon that is often overlooked. If you're looking for a new way to spray and pray in the wasteland, give this mod a try. If you're a fan of Fallout 4 and looking for a darker, more ominous aesthetic, you're in luck. Project Dementia is a Commonwealth retexture project that will transport you into a world of darkness and horror. With the overall tone of the wasteland toned down and using darker color tones, this mod is perfect for horror fanatics and those looking for a more desolate wasteland. Originally designed to work with Vulcan landscape overhaul, the need for Vulcan was removed, and the mod now comes with its own landscape textures. One thing to keep in mind is that this mod will have a lack of vibrant colors. The inspiration for the landscape was taken from Crematoria at Night from the movie Chronicles of Riddick. Even the glowing sea textures were changed, taking inspiration from the fringe in Allegiant, and the watercolor for the world space was altered as well. For those interested in what's to come, you can check out the Project Dementia Discord server for plans on future additions and edits. The mod is currently being actively worked on, but there is no set date for the full retexture or any add-ons. The creator works on this project in their free time, so patience is appreciated. If you're looking for a new Fallout 4 experience with a darker, more desolate aesthetic, Project Dementia is definitely worth checking out. Just be prepared to say goodbye to the vibrant colors of the wasteland. Fallout London is an upcoming massive DLC-sized mod, and one of the most exciting features is the new custom animated Lewis gun. This old World War I light machine gun has been falloutized and features all character and power armor animations to give players a truly immersive experience. The design of the Lewis gun looks like it was made for the Fallout universe and the mechanics behind it are just as interesting. It features the famous rotating pan mag system, which is fully functional in this mod. But that's not all. The Lewis gun also has some usual weapon modifications and different barrels that allow for laser and plasma converters. For the best experience, we recommend trying it out with the carry handle attachment. The weapon can be found inside Fort Strong, in the office to the south with the loot trunk, and it will be displayed on the wall. Once you obtain it for the first time, the weapon can be crafted at a chemistry bench under Lewis Gun. While we wait for Fallout London to officially launch, this weapon is a great way to get a taste of what's to come. So gear up, head to Fort Strong, and add the Lewis Gun to your arsenal. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where parts of certain meshes, such as weapon workbenches or large green trash cans, disappear when viewed from certain angles? This can be frustrating for any player, especially those who are particular about the aesthetics of their game. The Mesh Bounce Fix mod is here to solve this issue for you. This mod is a simple mesh replacer that fixes the problem of certain meshes popping out of existence. By installing this mod, you can ensure that all parts of the mesh remain visible no matter the angle from which it is viewed. Are you tired of the drab and rundown look of Sanctuary in Fallout 4? Look no further than the The Sanctuary Texture Redux mod. This mod completely transforms the Sanctuary texture set and furniture to give your player home a new level of comfort and luxury. The mod boasts significant improvements in textures, making them more visually appealing for use in settlement mode. Plus, the textures are less weathered than the original set, adding to the overall aesthetic appeal of your Sanctuary. Every asset in this mod is a replacer and will change the vanilla counterpart. 
This means that you don't have to worry about compatibility issues with other mods, making it an easy and seamless addition to your Fallout 4 experience. Say goodbye to the boring and worn down look of Sanctuary, and hello to a new level of comfort and luxury with the I've Got Wood 2, the Sanctuary Texture Redux mod. If you are a fan of the Elder Scrolls series, you will love this mod. This mod offers an exciting opportunity to play as an anthropomorphic raptor, similar to the Argonian race from the series. This mod is all about giving players the chance to experience something new and exciting. The Proto-Argonian race mod is a playable race mod that allows you to create a character with unique features and abilities. The mod is designed to provide you with a new way to experience the game, and it offers a range of features that you will love. The race is a cross between a raptor and a lizard, giving you a unique look that sets you apart from the other characters in the game. One of the best things about this mod is that it doesn't affect NPCs, meaning that you can enjoy playing as the Proto-Argonian without worrying about how it might impact the game's story or other characters. The mod is all about giving you the chance to create your own unique character and explore the world in a new way. Overall, the Proto-Argonian race mod is an exciting addition to Fallout 4, and it offers a range of features that players will love. If you are looking for a new way to experience the game, this mod is definitely worth checking out. If you're looking to improve the look and feel of the Thicket Excavations Quarry area in Fallout 4, you might want to check out the Vivid Fallout Thicket Excavations Quarry mod. This mod offers a long overdue overhaul of the Marble Quarry, with improvements in 1K, 2K, HD, and best choice size. The best part about this mod is that it greatly reduces VRAM usage for all types, making it more efficient and optimized for your game. The mod author has also rescaled a lot of unicolored textures from 512x512 to 4x4 pixel for all download types, which should help a lot with performance in the area. Not only does this mod improve the textures of the quarry, but it also enhances the overall atmosphere of the area. With Vivid Fallout Thicket Excavations Quarry, you'll feel like you're truly in a desolate, abandoned quarry. So if you're looking to improve the visual quality of Thicket Excavations Quarry and want to optimize your game's performance, be sure to check out Vivid Fallout, Thicket Excavations Quarry. It's a mod that's definitely worth considering if you're a fan of Fallout 4. Lastly, we want to talk to you about the vault Tech Swimsuit and Lucky Coat. This mod adds a new outfit to the game that combines style with functionality. Vault-Tec Swimsuit and Lucky Coat is a swimsuit outfit that transforms the existing Vault-Tec suit into a more fashionable and attractive form. The outfit features an open-top jacket with a zipper that accentuates the character's full chest. Additionally, it adds armor to the elbow and loin areas, providing tactical defense while keeping the outfit looking sleek. One of the unique features of this mod is that it includes a body slide option that allows you to customize the size of the outfit to your liking. This feature also includes options for high heels and flat shoes, providing even more customization options for your character. Overall, this mod shows the creativity of the creator by transforming an existing outfit into a stylish and functional piece of armor. It's a great addition to any player's wardrobe, and it's sure to make your character stand out in the wasteland. Thanks for tuning in, Wastelanders. We hope you enjoyed this showcase of the must-have mod for April 2023. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest mods and gaming content. Until next time, keep surviving in the wasteland.